What's poppin' Connor High? Today is Thursday, October 14th, 2021. I'm AJ. And I'm Nate. In today's show, we're going to be talking about Conroe's homecoming game and the new added member of the MCU. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Our very own Conroe Tigers football team has just ended Oak Ridge's eight-game winning streak last Friday. The Tigers took the upper hand on the War Eagles with a score of 44-41 to on homecoming night. This win also ends our three-game losing streak. During halftime, J.J. Flores and Leah Lawhorn were named Conroe, Tiger, Conroe High School's homecoming king and queen. Conroe head coach Cedric Hardman was mobbed by his players after defeating Oak Ridge, having a nice cold Powerade bath. After the game, Hardman said, that's a very good team over there. They played hard all night just like us. I'm just so proud of these guys. An emotional and triumphant night for us Conroe Tigers, and we cannot wait for the next big game. Speaking of exciting news, Nate, I hear you have some great news to tell us. Indeed I do. For our latest news, we are going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe with a massive update for Ant-Man 3. A few months ago, Marvel released a trailer for the long-awaited Spider-Man 3 No Way Home, and it now has over 71 million views on YouTube, which is crazy. You'd think it's like a Mr. Beast video or something. Anyway, Marvel has just confirmed that Ant-Man 3 Quantumania will star none other than Bill Murray. In case you didn't know, Bill Murray has appeared in many movies, such as Ghostbusters, Garfield, uh, and my personal favorite, Groundhog Day. We will now take it to a quick commercial break. What's up, Conroe High? I'm Vaughn, your weather anchor for today. This weekend, we'll be experiencing a cold front, but for today, there will be thunderstorms with a 40% chance of rain and a high of 83 and a low of 70. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 54. Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 50. And on Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of... 75 and a low of 50. And lastly, on Monday, it's going to be sunny with a high of 78 and a low of 54. Now for the fun fact of the day, we want to explain the meaning of KTIG. KTIG is our station's calling sign. The letters K and W are assigned to commercial broadcasting with the W being for stations to the east of the Mississippi River and K being for the west of the Mississippi River. The K, I, and G just stands for Tiger. Next up, we have our special segments. Check it out. All right, so today we're here with Mr. Lindemann, and we're going to be congratulating him on being nominated as Teacher of the Week. So you want to take this Thank real you. quick? Appreciate it. And is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? Sure, go ahead. Okay, so what led you to becoming a teacher? Uh, so I was a corrections officer first and a police officer for several years. Um, teaching really wasn't a goal at the beginning, um, but I started dealing with youth more as a police officer, um, and I really enjoyed it, so that led me to teach law enforcement here. And what do you think makes you different from other teachers? Um, obviously with law enforcement, I've been in situations and uh, seen a lot of stuff, so I think I, I'm able to relate to kids a lot. Um, I see different points of view that maybe some people don't see. Hello, today we're here with Fani and she nominated Mr. Lindemann as Teacher of the Week. Is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? So why did you choose him? Um, I chose him because um, 
Different from all my teachers, he is very chill. He also cares a lot about um, his students' opinions. Uh, sometimes he likes to make conversation with me. He um, sometimes even makes me feel uh, good about my day. Um, we tend to talk a lot about uh, things that we like, like our dogs or places that we like to go to. And uh, yeah. So what makes him different? Because you said he's different from other teachers that you've had. Yes, so uh, what makes him different is that he's very chill. Um, he doesn't really get a lot on his students. Um, also, he really cares about uh, his students' opinions, like how do they feel, how was their day, um, what are things that they like. Um, sometimes if he's trying to do an activity at the class, he asks them like, oh, what would you like to do, or would you like to do it this way or that way? And um, I think that that is very important. Okay, and what's something that you'd like to tell him? Um, I would like to tell him to keep being himself um, and to keep being like that to his students. He tends to uh, sometimes brighten my day and make me feel good. He also does it with other students. Uh, he tends to help a lot. So uh, just keep being that way and um, yeah. Thank you. Okay, and finally, what would you like to say to all your students? So just people in general. Uh, just don't give up. Keep trying. Um, no matter how bad things can get. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, just wish you nothing but success. Thank you for being able to share with us today. Hey guys, this is Mrs. Joyner, lead counselor at Conroe High School. Um, this week, you should be getting your report cards. If you don't get a paper copy, then you should be able to see it in your student access account, and your parents will be able to see it in their parent access account. Remember, a report card grade is just a small piece of being a high school student because we take the report card grade and then the next report card grade, you take a semester exam and we put those together to make your semester average. It's the semester average that awards credit and it's the semester average that stays on your transcript. So if you are unhappy with your report card grade, that's fine. You can do better the next nine weeks and make your average for the semester higher. So please don't give up. If you failed a class for the first nine weeks, get with your teacher to find out how you can make a high enough grade the next nine weeks that you pass the class for the semester. Remember in high school, if you don't pass a course and it is a graduation requirement, then you will have to repeat it or you will have to pay to take it in summer school. So make sure that you're looking at those grades and keeping up with those things. As you look at your grades, you may experience a little bit of anxiety or stress. Remember, stress is something that happens to you that's outside of your control. So generally, um, what you're probably experiencing is stress and it's not anxiety because you're stressed out about your grades. Anxiety is something that comes from within, um, whereas stress is something that comes from without, like you're being stressed because of your grades. So let's take a minute and think about a way that we can relax and control ourselves so that we can move forward and continue to work in the classroom. And a great way to do that is with a breathing technique. When you do breathing techniques, try to remember that you should breathe out for longer than when you breathe in. So for example, if I ask you to breathe in for a count of four, then you would breathe out for a count of five or six, and you really try to work to pull all of the air out of your lungs while you're breathing out. So we're gonna try one breathing technique that I really like that's called take five. And it's really simple because you use your hand to do it. Um, so take a minute, put your feet on the floor and get relaxed and we're gonna run through it one time. You take your finger and you're going to run it up and down your hand as you breathe in and out. And that's gonna help you to relax. So let's do it together one time. Take your finger and you're gonna put it on your thumb. Go down, take a breath in and then out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. As you breathe out, try to really work on pushing all of the air all the way out of your lungs. 
Hopefully that helps you to relax a little bit so you can focus on what you need to get done today. Remember your counselors are here to help you. We have lots of other tools like that. So if you need some more help with those types of things, please come and see us. Thank you. Today I'm here with Mr. Lindemann, here to talk with us a special, about a special activity. Sure, so it's homecoming week, um, law enforcement class. We have our drunk goggles. Um, what it does is it simulates a level of intoxication from a lower level to the highest level. Um, so what we want to do is, I know during homecoming week, sometimes kids are a little more pressure to drink or the opportunity to drink might be more prevalent. Um, so what we're going to do is put goggles on the kids and they're going to have to do a series of um, activities where they ride a little tricycle around cones, they toss a kickball to each other, they have to build blocks, um, and then the standard um, field sobriety test where they walk on a straight line or do a one leg stand, stuff like that, just to kind of give them an idea of um, how alcohol impairs you and the dangers it could cause. Alright, let's check it out. What's your favorite part about this class? My favorite part is learning about like what is dangerous and what you can do to help protect other people. Ah, that's really good. And now I'm here with Mr. Reese, and we wanted to ask you, what's something that you want the students to take away from this class? Um, a lot of kids don't realize just how fast alcohol can hit them and just how it causes them to become so uncoordinated. And in today's time, there's a lot of stress and the way people try to de-stress is drinking or pills and things like that. And so what we want them to realize is just doing simple things is riding a bicycle around the cones, walking a line, catching a ball, stacking, like simple things that we can do any day when we're sober. Introduce a little alcohol into your system or pills or something that will intoxicate you. It causes you and able to do little things like that. Then imagine getting behind a vehicle and trying to drive while you're intoxicated. It's not safe and it's very, very dangerous. And we're just trying to educate them a little bit on the effects of um, intoxication. That's really good. Let's take a quick look at all the things going on here at CHS. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we want to tell you a little about Elisa Fernandez, a former American softball player and a current assistant coach at UCLA with Cuban slash Puerto Rican descent. Lisa was born in New York City on February 22, 1972. She is a famous softball pitcher who created an Olympic record in softball with 25 strikeouts. Fernandez has won multiple medals and championships during her time in the U.S. Women's Olympic softball team. She even has her own line of softball equipment, which includes bats, gloves, helmets, and a softball clothing. Come out and watch players from the men's and women's soccer team try to take on the faculty in a soccer match. You must purchase a ticket to attend. For more information, see Mr. Meyer. We will have our next Spanish club meeting Wednesday at 3 p.m. in room 2025. We want to congratulate Mr. Lindemann as being nominated as Teacher of the Week. They were nominated by Yafany Leroy. Make sure to go to ktignews.com and fill out the Google form for a chance for one of your favorite teachers to be nominated as Teacher of the Week. The University of Houston at Victoria is a short two and a half hour drive from Conroe and with 
within two hours of both Austin and San Antonio. The student population of UH Victoria is approximately 4,300 students, which is almost the same amount as ninth grade campus and main campus combined. They offer degrees in criminal justice, business, nursing, and even digital gaming. This smaller, more affordable university may be just the place for students wanting a four-year experience at a smaller university. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for Real Talk with student actors. On Monday, the very first episode of The Roar will be aired, so make sure to check that out and support the contestants. On Thursday, stay on the lookout for the Halloween Movie Madness game show. And also, don't forget about our hallway procedures. Remember to walk and talk, stay to the right, and keep the hats off. Well, those are all the announcements that we have for today. Don't forget to follow us all on social media at KTIG News. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more KTIG news coming soon. <laughs>